Hey guys, it's been a few days since I vlogged. I am home, as you guys know from the last vlog. Um, and I've just spent the week resting up from my vacation <laughs> um, and catching up on orders and getting new releases out. Today it's Friday and new releases and all that stuff. I'm all caught up. Um, I did film this morning a couple of videos, so yay. Um, and then I am meeting my friend to go see Ocean's 8 in a couple hours. We are going to have lunch first and then go see the movie. So I'm very excited. Um, something else exciting happened this week, and that is me and my friends started a curly girl Instagram. And it is called Five Curly Girlies. Um, and I will put it here and I'll put a link down below. So if you are a curly girl, um, you can go see it. I'm actually a wavy girl. This is like not that great right now. It's not showing up. There we go. Um, but we do, most of us do hardcore the curly girl method. Um, but we each are taking a day. There's five of us. So Monday through Friday, we're each taking a day and posting. And we all have different hair types. Um, anywhere from like mine, which is like 2A, 2B, if you know curly girl stuff, um, all the way to like 3B hair. Um, I n we don't have any like anyone more than that though. Sorry about that. Anyways, so I will stop rambling about that, but I'm really excited about it. It's going to be fun, I think. And yeah, I've just been planning out my posts for the next few weeks of what I want to do. And Yep. So I'm going to go get dressed and then go to lunch with my friend. We are going to Blaze Pizza and then the movie theater is right there. So I'm excited. We're going to get our movie tickets first and then go get pizza because you never know in the summer. Like, yeah, you just never know. So anyways, talk to you later. So today... Saturday and we are smoking some ribs. Mm -hmm. Yum yum yum. I'm so excited. I wish you guys could smell how good the, the um, smoke smells. Um, we're doing apple wood. Sorry it's like really windy in my backyard too but I'm so excited. And here it is. Now I just have to let it sit for a little bit and we can so I am just getting ready to read my book, which is A Court of Frost and Starlight. It is the fourth book in the series. It's like 3.5 really. Um, but I have just had a very busy weekend of like cleaning. My living room looks pretty good. Even scrubbed the floor, washed the windows wash the curtains like it's crazy so yep that's what I did this weekend and whatever reason I think it's the heat brings out my sunspots which makes me look like a mustache which is awesome yay um but yeah so I'm gonna read here it's nice and quiet it's really warm um not like really warm it's like 80 degrees but the humidity is about 80%, so it just feels warm. But it's surprisingly quiet right now for a Sunday afternoon. So I'm going to read for a little bit. So, today was an okay day. Like, it was normal day. I was designing. Um, it's, we're having a heat wave here in LA. Luckily, where I live, it's not getting super hot, and I have air conditioning. Um, I was having dinner with my dad. We had takeout um, delivered. I was eating it. It was delicious. It was almost done. And there was a freaking Band-Aid. Like, you could tell it had come off someone's finger because it was wrapped around in my food. I nearly hurled 
right there at the table. My dad thought it was like a mushroom or something. He was like telling me I was full of it. And then he saw it and he was like, oh my gosh. I got on the phone, called the, the people. They're like, I was like, I demanded. They're like, can we put you on hold? I was like, no, I need to talk to a manager right now. My manager isn't here. So they took my info and um, the guy called me back and tried to, I mean, maybe it did. Maybe, I don't know, but it just sounded like an excuse to me. He said that he checked all his employees' hands, no one was missing a band-aid, no one had cuts, that all his chefs wear gloves, um, and that he thought it was from, like, the distributor where they get their noodles from, and that it must have been in the bag. Well, why weren't your chefs, one, ch checking, like, because they come out clear, right? A brown band-aid you should be able to see. Um, so that's something that you need to clear up with them but I was just flabbergasted I was I'm worried about getting sick because who knows what that person has um so I yeah the guy was very apologetic but I just didn't know what to do and he gave me my money back which thank good because I shouldn't have to pay for that um, and I didn't know what to do, I didn't know what to do, and one of my friends, Aaron, was like, you need to contact the health department, and I was like, you know what, I do, because, one, he could be lying to me, so he could, someone in his employee could be sick, and two, if he doesn't contact, if it really is, like, the distributor, the health department needs to know, like, that's a major thing, like, it's not like, I mean, I've had, like, cockroaches or little bugs in my food before, which is really gross. But this is a different level of gross. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to say what, what place it is. I already have on my social media, like, people that live in my area already know about it. So, I've already warned locals of where... Um, this place is and it sucks because I really enjoy their food and have for like 10 years and yeah I'm really upset and I'm still like nauseous it's been like two hours now and I'm still like nauseous just from like thinking about it like I'm praying I don't get sick it just really sucks